Okay, so good morning, Cherokee County. My name is Lisa Ellis, and I'm currently on temporary staff um, in Cherokee County with NC Cooperative Extension. Um, so today we are tuning in for a Facebook Live with um, Mr. Keith Wood, um, your ag agent. So how are you today? Doing great. How are you, Lisa? I'm doing pretty good. Um, so today, what are we just going to be talking about? We're going to be talking a little bit about the Asian Hornet, which has been in the news the last all two or three months, you know, uh, people getting scared, you know, about maybe being in the area. They call it the murder hornet. The reason why they call it that is because it can be very harmful or can decimate honeybee hives. And uh, as of now, it is not in North Carolina. Uh, they have found it in uh, the northwestern part of the United States and Washington State and also in Canada. And they're trying to take measures right now to try to control it before it does get widespread across the U.S., which can decimate our honeybee hives and our commercial beekeeper operations. So we want to try to get this thing contained and maybe eradicated before it gets started. And also to we'll give you, we do have the European hornets in this area and a lot of people mistake these for the Asian hornets. And I'm gonna to try to show a few comparisons, you know, between the two and help, help people identify them. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there is a lot of panic with this insect, um, but what would you say are some of like the major, major concerns with it? I guess it is just the honeybee population because what these these Asian horns do when they do find a, a hive of honeybees, they just fly in there and they're so big, they just decapitate the workers as they come out. And all of a sudden you go back to your honeybee hive, a pile of dead bees at the bottom of it, you know. And I guess there are some beneficial aspects to this uh, insect, but don't move any right now. All we've heard so far is just the bad things that can come about it. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of native bees and hornets and, and wasps in this area. And I don't know what this one could add to what, you know, the, the beneficial part of it. We're more worried about the detrimental aspects of it right now than the beneficial part of it. Yeah. Um, so, how do you know that you're technically looking at the Asian hornet versus like a European hornet or vice versa, just any other wasp or insect? Let me share my screen. I've got a few pictures here. I don't, of course, you know, there's not any Asian hornets in the area, so I'll have to go buy some pictures that the university has sent out and also the Department of Agriculture. So, I'll start out and I've got a picture here. Here's a picture of the Asian, giant Asian hornet. And as you'll see is, you know, these things can get up to about an inch and a half, two inches long. And probably one of the easiest way to identify them or to distinguish these from the European hornet is look at the head. The head has great big eyes on it, you know, and the head is yellow all the way across, except for one little spot right kind of in between their eyes. And they just kind of look mean, don't they? But anyway, the head will be yellow all the way around except for the eyes. And there's some other other identifying aspects is the way the antenna are, you know, but e probably the easiest way to look at the head and then also look at the abdomen. Now, the abdomen will be base yellow and it'll have these dark brown stripes and the stripes are more or less uniform. One of them kind of comes down a little bit there right from the start. But the European hornet will look a little bit different from this. And uh, let me stop this share and I'll go ahead and show I've got a, a dead specimen of a European hornet that uh, one of the beekeepers gave me. And I've got it under a USB microscope, so we'll be looking, we'll be moving it around a little bit. But if you'll look, the one most major way to identify them is if you'll see these, these little teardrop shape, you know, where the dark bands come across it right there. And these little teardrop things will kind of drop down. The Asian hornet will not have that. Now, they'll just, these black, the dark stripes will be more or less be, uh, be continuous across the, the back of it. And then if we can turn around here, I'll see if I can get back in focus here in just a second. We'll look at the head. All right, if you look at the head there, above his eyes, it'll still be dark. In this area back in here, it'll still be dark but then the face of it will be yellow. So if, you, if you've got the Asian hornet, you know, of course that's gonna be dark all, or be bright yellow all the way around it, except for where the eyes are at. So those are probably the two, that and the abdomen, like I said, is probably the two easiest ways to 
identify this or distinguish it from the Asian one. Cool, cool. So, um, is that all that you have for? Um... That's pretty much it. You know, okay. uh, there's one way if you do see large flying insects around your house and they look a lot larger than our native bald face hornets and our yellow jackets, it's more likely the European hornet. And they, one of the distinguishing aspects of these also, they fly at night where our mm -hmm. native hornets and bees do not. So mm -hmm. if you see them kind of hitting your, you know, your kitchen window or, or whatever where the lights are on, you know, it's probably the European hornet. And one way you can tell for sure, you can make a trap and just take a light bulb and get you a pan of soapy water and just hang that light bulb above the soapy water and then whenever they come to the light you know a lot of times they'll drop down too far and they'll hit that soapy water and it more or less they can't fly after that and they'll drown and then you can get once they die you can get them out and look at them and that way you can just you know see if these uh, if they have those markets on their abdomen and like i told you and also look at the head of it and if you've got any questions you know you can always bring it in and i can help yeah. you Cool. Um, so thank you so much just for telling us more about the Asian Hornet and just how you can compare with the European Hornet um, and just put all of us at ease just a little bit more. Um, and everyone who's watching, just thank you guys so much for tuning in. And also, if you guys have any questions, just call the extension office at 828-837-2210. And what's your extension? Extension 2 is mine. Extension 2. So once there should be like a prompt as soon as you call in that it should take you to that. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Or you can yeah. just go ahead as soon as you call in, you can just hit extension to and go straight to my phone. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions about that, um, feel free to call Keith and then he'll let you know. But cool. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, cool. That should